The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. All right, let's do the podcast here on this Monday night. Welcome to the show, Feb 4. 2013. My name is Mo. This is Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. Phone number 478-7954. You also can catch us on Skype at the Good Times Podcast. You can also text us your questions and we'll call you. I fucking forgot the number. I'll give it to you a little bit later. Dr. Ken, good evening. Ken, good I, evening. I, I'm sick as fuck we again can hear that. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. We could hear it. Yeah. This is the sickest I've been so far uh, this year. Ooh. Well, you know, you know me, I get sick all the time, but fuck, this is horrible. There is some kind of flu going around here in the Americas. The US, yeah. That is just fucking people up, and I am uh, one of these people. And thank Ooh, God tough. that we have this guest tonight because... Absolutely. <clears throat> I'm very excited. I have to do... Li- I have to do less work, and oh, he's no. awesome. <laughs> and this might, and, and this might be the, the, the top downloading show of... The, uh, the second season. I mean, sure, we have Mocha, who get nude at times. Yeah. We'll have Georgina's big-time star yeah. power and stuff like that. But when, we, when you get John Oye on a podcast, oh, yeah. it's fucking <laughs> unbelievable. Um, hey, Ken. Como esta? Yeah. Como esta? Well, hold on, John. I'm going I'm to introduce you okay. like the king that you are in a second here. <laughs> mm. Ken, mm. we did a podcast before, John Oye and I, called Good Times Acoustic, right? It was like the – it was yes. – you know, this one's called Good Times of the Podcast, Love mm. Stories, whatever the fuck. Good Times Acoustic was just music, man. And it's funny because I'm so proud that we're we're the most dominant podcast in the country and in certain parts of the world. But John Oy was literally the the greatest competition we had. The show that him and I did would destroy this show (laughs) on weekends, on Mondays. I mean, we would do, we would do, we would do, eventually we would do better because we were on every single night. But if John Oy sang every night, it's 25 fucking million downloads on his show while we're stuck at 20. <laughs> they're I mean, still the guy, yeah, they're downloading it still right now. They're still downloading his podcast from yeah. 2005 when we did it or whatever crazy long time ago it was. Yeah. That's how badass this guy is. Yeah. So please welcome on the show. Yay. Really, we, we call him the Philippines' best se- kept secret, but no longer. I mean, the guy is just the household name if you want to destroy some ears. John Oydenau, I miss you, my friend. How Welcome you, to the show. How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me again. Man, you, the numbers you put up, and, and you know it, and I know it because we were there to see it together. I mean, we were side by side in my house doing Good Times Acoustic. That was fun. That and was fun. That was fun. You, wow, yeah. did you bring it in? <laughs> you were fucking amazing. And you know, even till this very day, I'm here in the U.S., I'm like. You had some uh, misses uh, and hits, but yeah. It's it's good. Well, <laughs> it's no, good. no. I mean, it more hits. I mean, fine. Every now and then you'll have a miss, but the miss is more like not the pro- overall performance, but maybe you skipped a line because you yeah. just learned the song like ten minutes prior to the show. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking crazy. So like tonight, I gave you a list of songs. Like, hey, can yeah. you try this? And can you try that? Like Ed Sheeran. I fucking love Ed Sheeran. Can you play that Edge of Desire by John Mayer? So John has to come to the show and just learn it right before the show. And he maybe, and, and, maybe and a, yes, maybe fine. Maybe every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, and and then maybe every now and then you'll maybe you'll miss or something because you just learned the, the song like yeah a few hours ago, but the the level that you play it at and you perform it at's better than anyone else can do, man. You are fucking fabulous. Wow, thanks, man. <laughs> All right. All right. So we have Jono here. Oh, it's cool we are here. taking a little bit of a break from the normal show mm-hmm. where we, you know we're taking a bunch of calls about your sex life and all that shit. We have a couple calls you know on hold already, but we'll talk about that a little later because I just want to hear Jono, man. And no one wants to hear my voice sound like shit. They want to hear Jono. <laughs> so, Sigi. my friend, we'll talk Lakers. I know you're a big Laker yeah, fan. I know, I know, I know. Oh, let's talk about that. Maybe. We'll talk about uh, how people can book you. I know you're very you're 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 at this point where like really great actors they get scripts and they just have to choose the like which one they want. There's there's gig opportunities and John just chooses which one he wants. He's not going to take everything now. <laughs> That's how badass he is. Sign in demand. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so we'll talk about all of that stuff. But yeah, let me get out of this voice because people probably hate hearing me. Why don't we start it off? Johnoy. Yes, By the way, you can happen. follow him on yeah. on Twitter. Johnoy the now. His real name's Donald, but don't tell anybody. Um. <laughs> oh no, no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do this Good Times Acoustic Show again, man. We'll talk about that also, yeah. maybe a little bit later on the program. How about let's start it off with um, Imagine Dragons. I love this song. It's called It's Time. This song is beautiful, man, and it's it's perfect for you. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. John O'Donnell do it. on the program tonight. Here we go. So this is what you meant when you said that you were spent. And now it's time to build from the bottom of the pit right to the top. Don't hold back. Packing my bags and giving the academy a rain check I don't ever want to let you down I don't ever want to leave this town Cause after all The city never sleeps at night It's time to begin Isn't it? I get a little bit bigger, but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was. Now, don't you understand that I'm never changing who I am? So, this is where you fell, and I am left to sell. The path to heaven runs through miles of clouded hell right to the top. Don't look back. Turning the rags and giving the commodities a rain check. I don't ever want to let you down. I don't ever want to leave this town. After all, the city never sleeps at night. It's time to begin, isn't it? I get a little bit bigger, but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was. Now, won't you understand that I'm never changing who I am? It's time to begin, isn't it? Now don't you understand That I'm never changing who I am This road never looked so lonely This house doesn't burn down slowly To ashes, to ashes to begin, isn't it? I get a little bit bigger, but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was. Now won't you understand? I'm never changing who I am. It's time to begin, isn't it? I get a little bit bigger, but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was Now won't you understand But I'm never changing who I am 
it's, it, 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 you know, hearing you again here <laughs> on the podcast is kind of like it, it's like falling in love again with the one that got away. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you and I had a past relationship romantic and you're back in my arms. We did, man. We did. We did. You're, you're back in my arms where, I, where you belong and I'm in yours. <laughs> We're making sweet and manly music love together. Oh, man. John, that was fantastic, buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks. Fucking hell, man. How you been? I mean, I'm how you been since we, we lasted uh, an episode? I'm really good. Um, um, gigs, uh, um, relationship, everything, man. It's, it's fine. I, I mean, same girlfriend? Same I'm sorry, girlfriend, I mean, yeah, same girlfriend you, yeah. yeah, I don't have the same girlfriend since you last <laughs> time when you were practically in my house every weekend. <laughs> but yes. um, yeah, we got a lot to talk about, man. We got a lot of, you know, listen, I know it's early on the show, and, and in terms of dramatic uh, dramaticism and all that stuff, I should be offering, like, you know, not really offering, but hey, telling you, let's team up again, man. Let, let's do another Good Times Acoustic good, show. Good, and just a fucking. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I'm you in. I'm in. I'm in. I fucking mm. love you. Yeah. <laughs> and this time we can't break up, okay? Um, no, and, and I know it's difficult to do it weekly because to learn all these songs, I mean, it, it just takes a toll. But maybe we can do something where, like, I don't know, month. once a month, yeah, yeah we'll come back let's, and just. Let's pick or, up some or, songs from, from, from your show. I mean, you play a lot of songs. Yeah. Today, so. Totally, yeah, let's do it. And then, you know what we can do is we can have like a Good Times Acoustic every week, but feature John Doe like, you know, first week of the month and stuff like that. Like, next week we have Bamboo here on the show. Maybe I can throw the idea out to him and then mm -hmm. we'll have the same four artists every month, but they do once a week. So it's not a strain on anyone's schedule, voice, yeah, yeah. or whatever it may be, relationships. That would be great, <laughs> man. That would be and, great. And, and would John be great. like... John is like Ellen Adarna on the internet, like circa huh? mid 2000s. Like, jo you, when we were younger, dude, Ellen Adarna was like the biggest thing on the internet, man. If you knew Ellen Adarna, you knew the internet. You were cool with the internet, you know? But you, you get what I mean? It's like, you're a rock star. <laughs> and John Oy, if you know John Oy's podcast, and like, regardless of <clears throat> whether you see him in the gigs and stuff like that, if you find a guy who knew John Oy's podcast, you were cool. You, you know what I mean? What? Really? Yeah, uh, man. Okay. <laughs> like you, you give it because you're not you're okay, you're not on ASAP every week. You're not one of those guys. You're not the Richard Poons or whatever it may be. You know, it there was kind of like an underground culture there for the podcast and then it just became kind of mainstream because it was so popular and got thousands and thousands and thousands of downloads. But I always knew if I met a guy who said John Noy, we kind of gave a little wink, like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're cool. You're, but I, but I you're, think, you're um, a friend of mine now. Um, the, the, the trick there would be just doing the songs as honestly as I can. I mean, medyo ganun yata yung, 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 do natin nahuli yung, yung kilite ng, 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 ng listeners natin for that, for that show. Sometimes the simpler uh, you, you do it, it sounds a little bit better than in maraming instruments and everything. That's true. That's yeah. true. And, and, and you know, sometimes when you're me, watching these shows, no, and you're absolutely right. Sometimes when you're watching these shows, when the singer tries to do too much to yeah, it, too much, you yeah. know, and, and they try to showcase the, the, the power and the voice, it kind of fucks it up. John, you just relax, listen to the song, yeah. fall in love with me, fall, I mean, when I say me, me I mean yeah, you. Just fall, fall in love, love with the song, man. I mean, the song. Fall in love the, the song. The song yeah. is the, the, the king. Dude, you're fucking <laughs> awesome. All right, wait, 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 hold on. Before we get to the next song, tell yeah. us about like a uh, new album. I mean, I, I, remember, I know your last uh, album. Uh, I mean, or was it? For, was this your first solo album? That like, was my first solo it. album. Something. Yeah, it was called Dapit Hapon. I released it maybe to late 2010. Early to, to and I, I, I was hearing like Ikawa Tako was yeah. part of like a soundtrack to a movie and all of it this. It did and, good. It yeah? did good. Yeah, for 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 my. Uh, my, my my standards as 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 an artist, I think I did well with that album. Um, so, so what are we gonna hear? Another one? Um, I'm I'm recording. I just recorded another song. Um, I'm releasing it for 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 the Valentine's, you know, the love yeah. the love month. I'm, I'm gonna release it next week on iTunes. So do look for, look out for that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not an album. Copy, it's just man. a song. It's just a song. One song. What is it called? If you don't mind. It's called Salamat Sinta. It's a Tagalog song. Um, um, it's, it's for my girlfriend. Sinta. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, would you... I mean, okay, you can completely say no. Mo, I have a, a strict deadline that it has to be next week. But would you play it for us today? Like even just a, a, a little, a little excerpt? Bit, yeah. Or is that Bawat? Salamat Sinta. 
Lama cinta Ako'y buong buo na Magmula nang kita'y makilala Oh, yeah That's it <laughs> Just a sound of and, and and being in love, and I know you are because I remember, you yeah. know, when you would come over to my house and stuff. Like you were fucking, you were in love. You could see it in your face and shit. It, how I, I how still much? Am. I still, I still, I still no, I, I you know, I mean, last time I saw you, I know you are, <laughs> but I mean, like when I saw you, like I'm no longer in the country. Oh. When I saw you, you, were like absolutely glistening. At how much of that emotion that the being so in love with your girlfriend plays in in writing songs? Do you feel like it's easier to write when you're in love, or is it easier to write when you're depressed? Um. It's easier to write when you feel something. It doesn't matter if, if you're happy or if you're sad, if you're in love. It, it, it dapat galing sa, sa puso mo talaga. Um, well, that, that works for me, but sa, sure. sa artists, siguro, they can write any, uh, anything out of Yeah, like, like you get like a Taylor Swift who's so popular for making hit songs after breakups and stuff like that. But yeah, mm -hmm. I guess so. I mean, it depends on what... What your thing is, and and yeah. John, whatever it is, the feeling. I mean, you hate the Lakers right now. You could put an angry song out there, you know, because of the goddamn Lakers. <laughs> no, no, for I love the Lakers. I still love the Lakers, but they suck, man. I still love the Lakers. But they <laughs> You're suck. a huge Laker fan. I mean, huge love it. Lakers I love fan. reading your Twitter. You're so disappointed man, every time they play. Man. Canina, it's fucking did, great. did you watch the game, Canina? Against Detroit, where they beat yeah, them by man. one. Oh, yeah. ah, Canina, madaling araw. Nagising <laughs> awesome. yung girlfriend ko kasi. Ugh. Ang ingay ko eh. Muntik pa kami matalo. Anyway. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, John, I'm now here on the program. Tonight. John, let's take one call because we have sige, calls. Sige, sige. I don't let's, want to keep these guys, people on hold. And then we'll get to a song. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to uh, Jet, who's in Dubai. Jet, you are... Sorry, Jet. Jake, you're 21 in yeah. Dubai. And this is a question I think that John can you know help in sige, answer. Sige. Hi, Jake. So welcome to the show. What's up? Hi, guys. Good evening. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Good evening. Welcome Hello, sir, uh, to the program. Yeah, you're in Dubai. Fantastic. Thanks for taking the time out to give us a call. What's going on, buddy? Uh, of course, I'm in. I'm in. About sa, how do you gain confidence? Sa akin ba yun? Sa akin? Yeah, yeah, just just generally, like with the three of us. I mean, we yeah. all we all do things in our professional life, in our personal lives that we're, we can kind of build confidence from. John Oy, obviously, I mean, if I had your ability, I'd be the most confident person in the world. But, I mean, where, where do you get your confidence from, John Oy? What, what do you think you could tell this guy in terms of building it up? Um, for me, you have to do it a lot, what you want to do. I mean, playing the guitar or singing, whatever. But, um, Look for something and be an expert at it, you mean? Like repetitive practice, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Practice, practice. Because you're so bad, you're so bad, you're so bad, you're so bad, you're you're so bad, you're so bad, you're you're so bad, you're so bad, you're so bad, you're so bad, so bad, you're 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 well, well kind of like what John said. Now, it's kind of like on his end. You know, it's practice. Make sure that you know you 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 know the song. You you know you, you can play it. With me, it's like preparation. Um, it, this is gonna sound very mayabang, but this is only in my mind, like in my heart. I think I'm the best. Like I'm fucking the greatest. You know what I mean? It's like I sit here on this chair when I turn on this microphone. I know that mm. I'll bring it harder than anyone else. You know, that's kind of where my frame. And I mean, that might not be true. Obviously, there are great DJs out there and there are great shows. But it's when I sit here and I I kind of look at my material. I look at my topics. I look at the phone calls. I look at what I've done. And I'm like, okay, here we go. This is going to be a great show because I'm a part of it and I'm badass. Like, it's it's just an internal feeling that I have. It, it's be mayabang to yourself. I mean, don't let it, of course, register the people. But you have to know that when you start something, you're going to get the job done. And, and you're going to do it better than everyone else. That's kind of where I put it. Like, even Ken, you're a fucking surgeon, Ken. Like, you have to be confident in the, in the surgical yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> process because well, I have to if you're not confident, yeah. someone, someone dies mm, or, or you know, someone gets blind. So where, where do you build Ex your confidence exactly, from? Being... Exactly what you were saying. You have to own it. You have to believe that you can do it and bring it. And uh, in order for you to, to bring it, you do have to practice. That's why it's called medical practice. Even if you're an expert, you're still practicing. Yeah. 
and you're gaining That's scary your that it's still called practice, by the way. Imagine you're at the hospital and like, yeah, what but practice you, do you like? You, maybe you're practicing on me. Can't you like already They understand good? what it means. But, you know, if you're also in the, in the academe and you're already an associate mm. professor and you're teaching what you know, you can't tell them that you know everything. You know, there are some things. But you, you have to show that you can bring it, like what you said. I am a fan of uh, Mo Twister. I've been listening to him for a while now and I understand where he's coming from. That's why I'm a fan. He believes in it. He brings it. That's it. Yeah, you know it's funny because like you you take like a Kobe Bryant right. Like we were talking basketball earlier. Kobe is about as confident as a fellow as you'll find. Mm-hmm. Super confident. I mean, I know him personally. I'll see him in a week. Mm. He he's very very confident. Mm. But he hasn't hit a game winning shot in five years. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. But in his heart, when he's when the ball is in the fourth quarter and the seconds are ticking, guess who thinks he's gonna make it? Kobe. He hasn't hit one in five years. But yet everybody knows the ball's coming to him. Everybody knows he's going to take the shot. Everybody knows. You know why? Everybody's confident in him. Whether, it, whether he makes it or not, it's, it's an earned respect. It's a belief in himself. It's a practice. He takes thousands of shots every day. So even if he misses, so it's, not, it's never going to be perfect, Jake. So even if he misses, but guess what? Everybody knows the ball's coming to him, and he knows it because he's confident in his abilities, in his resume. It's there. You get what I mean, Jake? So, so yes, take sir. your small victories, take, you know, examine what you're, what you're really great at. If you're not great at anything, to be honest, pick up something and be dominant in it. Practice. All of a sudden, you'll see confidence come your way as well. All right? Thank you. Malaking bagay galing sa isang hinangaan talaga. Thank you. All the way in Dubai. Love it. Enjoy the heat and the sand. Thanks, buddy. Pagaling ka, sir. Pagaling ka. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Let's go to Al. We'll take one more call, and then we'll go to Al. Maybe a commercial break after, and then we'll go to John for another song. Sorry, not Al. This is AJ. Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm so sick. I'm reading all these people's names all wrong. AJ, you're 24 in Batangas. What's going on? Hello? AJ? Yes, sir. Yo. Yo, yeah, what's up? You're on the show. Uh, sir, I would like to ask, uh, how do you think a girl how can you make a girl squirt? Uh, you speak up a little bit, or, or if the staff can put his phone a little bit up, where he com- sounds really fucking distant. Okay, how to make a girl squirt? Uh, Ken, John, you ever make a girl squirt in the in the bedroom? This is some really like <laughs> we we talked about this in season one, where it's it's become very popular in the porn uh, industry, where girls are just like squirting all over like because guys ejaculate is it, such a cool thing to watch i mean no homo but you know when you know when you're finished because your body produces some kind of like explosion you're like yeah you know. with girls because they don't have that or not all girls have that there's always this desire for guys to do what they do in the porn films and get their girlfriend to squirt so they so they so at least the guy can feel like he satisfied her <clears throat> um aj not all girls squirt and I'd rather not see them squirt because the ones that I've been with that squirt, it smells like piss. And it, it must be some sort of mixture of piss yeah, with whatever piss. because because guys don't have, I mean, girls don't have semen. They're not ejaculating. Like, not, I mean, they have yeah. orgasms, but they don't produce liquid. So yeah. when a girl is having an orgasm and she's producing liquid, yeah. guess what? It smells like piss. And every girl that I've been with that squirted in bed has left a puddle of what I, what I look at as urine on my motherfucking bed and on my thigh and on my sticky belly button filled with piss. Yeah, that, that, it's not that awesome, AJ. I think AJ. that's just for porn, man, the squirting. It's just for porn. Yeah. It really is. All right, buddy? There's nothing to it. You oh, can he's, probably he's gone, make a gone. girl squirt by talking to her and going, hey, listen, when you're having an orgasm, can you urinate on me? <laughs> there. <laughs> make All make of her a drink a lot squirt. of coffee or a lot of That's soda. Right. <laughs> Just do that. And then, and then she's squirting and then it'll feed your ego. Thanks for the call, buddy. Enjoy Batangas. All right. Anyway, so we, do we have to take a break here? Where are we? I think we, do we have enough time for one more song. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's, let's take one more song into break, Janoy. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, let me request here. Here's a song I really love. This guy, Ed Sheeran, yeah. I, I've seen him perform live in front of, like, I, I sat in the first row and he touched my hand, I grazed his wow. shoe. <laughs> yeah, oh, and, and he wasn't that popular yet. He was just, he was just opening up for Snow Patrol. Dude, Johnoy, I watched Snow Patrol in Boston, uh, home of the Celtics, a couple months ago. 
the guy from Snow Patrol took my cell phone because I was in the front row and started singing Just Say Yes. You know the song. You, of course, yeah. you know Justin because you've sang it. It's fucking for that. And he started singing into my phone while on stage. Greatest day of my life. Wow. It was fucking great. And before him, Ed Sheeran was there. And I was like, man, who is this guy? He did the song. He did two songs that I fucking am amazed by. The A-Team and Give Me Love. Both songs are just fantastic. And Jono has agreed to sing The A-Team tonight. Yeah. How much do you love this song, Jono? It's just very uh, simple and very catchy. So, um, Very nice, very nice, very nice song. I just heard that this one uh, maybe three days ago. But really? First but, but, but I've heard about this song, but hindi ko talaga siya naririnig ng buong buo. So, it was my first time so this hearing is your this first for, go for, for the, whole, the whole song. And, 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 I, have, and I have to learn it. <laughs> Love it. All right, well, let's, let's give it a shot then. Here you go. Ed Sheeran's The A-Team. You're listening to Good Times with Mo, the podcast with John Oydena. White lips, pale face, breathing in snowflakes, burnt lungs, sour taste. Lights gone, days and struggling to pay rent. Long nights, strange men. And they say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream. Been this way since 18, but lately her face seems slowly thinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries. And they scream, the worst things in life come free to us Cause we're just under the upper hand And go mad for a couple grams And she don't wanna go outside tonight And in a pipe she flies to the motherland Who sells love to another man It's too cold outside For angels to fly Angels to fly Red gloves, raincoat Try to swim and stay afloat Dry house, wet clothes Loose change, banknotes Weary eyed, dry throat Call girl, no phone they say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream, been this way since 18, but lately her face seems slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries, and they scream, the worst things in life come free to us, cause we're just under the upper hand, and go mad for a couple grams. We don't want to go outside tonight And in the pipe she flies to the motherland Who sells love to another man It's too cold outside Angels to fly Angels to fly Covered in white Close by And hoping for a better life This time Tonight, straight down the line And they say she's in the class 18 Stuck in her daydream Been this way since 18 But lately her face seems Slowly sinking, wasting Crumbling like pastries And they scream the worst things in life come free to us Cause we're just under the upper hand And go mad for a couple grams and we don't wanna go outside tonight And in a pipe she flies to the motherland and sells love to another man It's too cold outside For angels to fly Angels to fly. Angels will die. 
Beautiful, man. You are some kind of talented. John, on the podcast tonight, on this uh, Monday night, it is the 4th of February. Let's take a commercial break. When we come back, we take some of your calls. Phone number 478-7954. Again, I apologize for sounding like shit. Really, really sick. But hey, you're not here for me. You're here for the man right there with the guitar. <laughs> His name is John Noy. Now you can follow him on Twitter. Dr. Ken as well. Hey. Let's take a break. When Ooh. we come back, let's hear um, some John Mayer, man. Edge of Desire. Another so song. Yeah, I, 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 I love. <laughs> yep. Can't wait for that. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought it was good. <laughs> 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 made it up. I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children, do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not allowed we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically, <laughs> Now, number two, upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. Lock all doors of vehicles during inspection. Since lock? Oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you. And this is actually, <laughs> I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs are planted. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and, yeah, and other things, stories. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. What's just there's Bieber really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I <laughs> throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD as well. You, have to, you know, then after that, you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know, you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch no. James Deacon and God. the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on the factory. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry. Okay, it's coming. Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. <clears throat> Gee, sorry. I feel like hell tonight. If my health keeps up, tomorrow on the show we have a girl that I have a huge crush on. Her name is R.C. Munoz. She's beautiful, man. Wednesday we have Ramon Bautista. Thursday, Asunta de Rossi. That's the line of Friday. <clears throat> Friday, I'll let you know who do we have. But again, hopefully, I don't like fall over and die. Tonight, it is Janoy Danau, just uh, one of my really, really good friends, and probably my most talented friend that I have, just because, you, as you can tell, he's all kinds of awesome. Janoy, where do people go to, I guess, contact you, whether it be Facebook, do you have a website? I mean, it, it, what's the, there's, there's Twitter, but what do you prefer? I prefer, uh, um, 
cell phone, by, by cell phone, by number, my, my number. Really? Are you going to give out your cell phone to all the people here? Yeah, man. It's, it's cool. Yeah, do it. 0908-821-4877. There you go. Oh, that's going to be ringing all night. I know. It's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Janoy, can you please? Can you please? 18, please. I mean, is it life or death? You just think about it, but it's not that way. Some will uh, maybe uh, say hello and then that's it. Mm. Yeah. 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 You really are a people's person. You're a people person. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's get back to uh, some, some singing here. You're listening to Good Times with the podcast, by the way, season two, on a Monday night with John Oydenow. A little bit of a change from what we're used to instead of taking all of these calls. We do have calls, and they're ready to go and all that, but um, we're really trying to showcase the music as we had during the old days of the podcast with uh, John Oydenow and myself, and uh, hoping to bring that back uh, soon. And as you recall... From the podcast days of Good Times Acoustic, you knew that I saved the third song as my favorite song. You know, it's like, oh, okay, this is yeah, this is yeah, what yeah, I really, yeah. you know, that's, that's right, really that's enjoyed. Right. Like and uh, this one by uh, John Mayer is superb. Um, she, uh, sorry, she, I'm reading a message here. This song <laughs> is 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 just brutal, and I'm so glad that you uh, you're gonna do this because I really am dying to hear your version. It's called Edge of Desire. Lyrically, probably one of the best songs John Mayer's done. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, it really hurts the, and hits. The, it's hard. Uh, the the picture of the song is just wow, Hanep. Galing, galing. It is. It's so well written, and and it's it, the, the 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 guitar work is fantastic. And I, I'm dying to hear your version. So let's get yeah. to it here. Yeah. This is John Oyden now doing John Mayer's Edge of Desire. Fucking fantastic song. Enjoy. Young and full of running Tell me where has that taken me Just a great figure eight A tiny infinity Love is really nothing But a dream that keeps waking me all of my trying still end up dying how can that be don't say a word just come over and lie here with me cause I'm just about to set fire to everything I see So bad, I'll go back on the things I believe. There, I just said it. I'm scared you'll forget about me. So young and full of running, all the way to the edge of desire. Steady my breathing, silently screaming, I had to have you now. Wired and I'm tired, think I'll sleep in my clothes on the floor. Or maybe this mattress will spin on its axis and find me on your To everything I see I want you so bad I'll go back on the things I believe There I just said it I'm scared you'll forget about me
said I'm scared you'll forget about me Devastating. Oh. Fucking A. Damn. You. Oh, wow. You need to incorporate that in your gigs, man. I should. I should. And maybe I, that song I will. That was awesome. And by the way, oh. that's, for, that's for my girlfriend. John Mayer is her favorite. Um, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's a very painful song, but yeah, I mean, but we yeah. get it. Yeah. yeah. We, she loves them. Yeah. Mm. But you can, take, you can take lyrics from that song. And like put it on Twitter, just like one line, like, um, oh, okay. oh. May, what is this? Uh, maybe this mattress will turn on its axis mm. and find its way to yours or something. Like, what a line, right? I mean, just, yeah. yeah. That, that song right has all yeah. great one lines. It's fucking fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that bit. Ooh, nah, in the nah, chorus nah, part, nah. when he's talking about like setting shit on fire and oh, mm. just. What a powerful song. And, Jono, you did it brilliantly. Now, Thanks, man. The original Thank has a guitar strumming of... I tried that. I, I tried practicing, yeah, I tried practicing that, but I, I think um, my guitar skills um, failed me <laughs> <laughs> for that part. But maybe but th- th- in, in time, I can, I can do it. Um, in, no, but that's why time. I wanted to ask you. It's like yeah. when you see that, and Mayer does such a great job at that. And, okay, say you haven't rehearsed that mm. riff uh, you know, and, and it's very difficult to pull off. How do you know what to play if you're not going to play the originals? Um, you know, you, you just I, I, look of, for, I look for the chord that 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 and the key that suits my voice, so 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 I can sing it quite well. Yeah, that was great, really, really great, splendid, really. Thank you. All right, let's go. You. Let's go to take some calls here. By the way, phone number four seven eight seven nine five four. This is the part I don't want to do, which is take calls because. My voice skills are failing me, but um, Christine here is on the program. She has got a question. Hi, Christine. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here, baby doll. You are, how old are you? You're 25, Quezon City. What's going on? Hi, Mo. What's up, love? This is Janoy Danao. Yeah. Hello. And, uh, yeah, Dr. I heard Janoy and your son's awesome. Thank you. Amazing, right? All right, Christine, what's up? All right, so I called because I have been sleeping with my boss for quite some time now. Uh-oh. It's been about six months, and then he's married, and he has one kid, and now it's just been it. It started as something casual, and now it's been emotional, and mm. it's been a whirlwind. Like I don't know what to do, and I want to end it, but I'm not sure how to. Sure, yeah. The the fucking the boss is so tough because. It always kind of lingers in, the, in your head whether it's going to compromise your job, and, and often it does. So you're screwed. Exactly, now, exactly. is is he your is he your immediate boss in terms of a large yes. company, or is he the owner of the company? Uh, I work for a multinational company, so he's just in my immediate boss. Okay, that's great. Now, do you have any proof that you guys were fucking like, say, emails, text messages, all of that stuff? Text messages, yeah. Yeah, great. Because here's the thing: when you break up, you're gonna need that shit. Because the moment he starts going, "You break up with me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire you." Okay, you fire me. I'm gonna show your wife these messages. <laughs> you get I me? Mean? Because when you have him on your shoulder and the thought of you losing your job kind of there, you need to arm yourself with something that you can fight the threat of being fired. So, is, 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 does the wife know about you, or is this something completely secret? It's completely secret. No one knows about right. it. Right. Okay, so what you want to do before you break up with him, this is really all, really, this is all diabolical, but it kind of has to be done. You need to send him some really sexual text messages and make sure he responds, and, or, man, send him, yeah, make I him send the photo. <laughs> yeah, you need to compile all of that. Everything, like... Man, you and him taking pictures together because you don't want him going. Hindi yung babae na yan gusto lang ng promotion tang inang gaguni. You know, misaya yan is what is gonna happen. So next time you see him and you guys are kind of intimate, take a couple photos. It doesn't have to be sex tape, but you get what I mean. Like take a photo of you kissing his cheek, you know, stuff like that. So you can kind of compile yeah. all the stuff just in case that day comes where you're gonna really sever the ties in this relationship. Now, let's get to the emotional part. Are you in love with him? 
because this is what's going to happen when you start fucking people yeah. and they're married and all of that stuff. You're going to get connected. Are you in love with him or is he in love with you? I think he's in love with me. How about you? But I'm not sure if I'm in love with him. I mean, I like being with him. We'll take that as a yes. Yeah, that's a yes, Mo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll take that as a like, yes. You're in love. Yeah, okay. Okay, so why do you want to end it? It's because it's wrong, right? It's, it's, it's wrong and yeah. it's affecting my work and I don't want it to. Yeah. Um, okay, again, okay, if you think about it before you fucked them the first time, if you have a chance to go back, would you do it again? No, I wouldn't. All right. At least you have a conscience because what you're doing is you're really, I mean, like, if I had a better voice, I'd be screaming at you because <laughs> he's got a kid. He's yeah, got a wife. Yeah. You know, there's always this threat that when your husband is a, a boss at a company that he's going to be banging secretaries and all of these people. And it's a big fear and you never want that to come true. And it is true in your sake. So I say end it. If you have a really good job, do you think you can work with him if you're not fucking him anymore? I don't know. I, I don't think I can. Yeah. That's not realistic. Probably you could, you could move to another uh, yeah. department or something. Get another like job. He gets, he gets all moody at times yeah, and it's, absolutely. It, it's terrible. Mm -mm. How, how, often you guys are, how often do you guys sleep with each other? Like once a week. What yeah. a great gig this guy's got. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's saying, man. <laughs> what a great gig. He has the bad girls at work who are under yeah. him, yeah, literally yeah. and figuratively. They're just, uh, have you guys had sex in the office? <laughs> no, 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 not yet. <laughs> not yet. Put that on your list before you break up. <laughs> uh, where do you guys have sex? Motels and stuff? Uh, motels, yeah. Damn, what a gig. What kind of industry <laughs> is this? Is call center? No, no, no. Oh, what is it? Banking? Oh, I'd rather not say. Yeah, no worries. All right. I don't want to push you so much. All right. Well, hey, listen. For your protection, because you're a listener of mine, and I'm not in the mood to yell at you, make sure... That if he's the kind of guy that will use it against you in terms of threatening to fire you and all of that stuff, you've got that, you know, in your pocket, you've got stuff that you can show us why, just in case it gets ugly. Now, if it doesn't get ugly, I say, go get another job, tell him it's not working out and say, you know what, I can't work with you here because it, you know, of what we've been through and stuff like that. But make sure you get a better job, one that pays you more and stuff like that before you actually quit. Okay? Yeah, that's what I'm actually thinking, getting a better job or just another job just stay away from him because it's really Does everybody in the him. office know you guys are fucking? No, no, no one. Damn. They can't know. Lucky dude. Lucky dude. <laughs> All right. Is he old? <laughs> nah, just about eight years older. Oh, all right. That's just enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 32 years old. Yeah. Hey, what a, what, love it. Christine, thank you. Please, please stop indulging in this kind of behavior. <clears throat> Even in your next job. Just, just stay away from this kind of stuff, all right? It's, it's, it'll fuck yeah, yeah. people's lives up. I know, yours. I know you hate those kinds of girls, but I, I just fucking had hate it. <clears throat> yeah, I really a, have, fucking hate it. Have a serious relationship a, with a, a true boyfriend. Yeah. Sorry. Have a, a a serious relationship with a true boyfriend rather than you know, being with somebody who's already attached. Then yeah, you forget I about it. Too. Have you had a regular boyfriend? I mean, you know, have you? You sound or is nice. This yeah, yeah. That I've had okay. one. There you go. <clears throat> all right. All right, Christine. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Mo. Thanks, John. I. Yeah. More this next song is for you. <laughs> yeah. This next song is for you, by the way. It's called Fucking Your Boss. <laughs> Sorry. Boy, this thing is really tough. All right. Um, John and I are on the program here tonight. Singing some songs. We're taking some calls, by the way. Phone number 478-7954. I'm sure you guys call, don't want to call, hear me call, 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 struggling call. through this. So we'll take a break from the from the calls and get to another song here. John, I love this song. Um, what is this? One Republic, uh, Good Life is, is what you're going to do next. This is a great song as well. Um, I'm glad you uh, you brought this uh, to the table tonight. So let's hear it. Here's Good Life by uh, One Republic, John and Let me see. Um. Oh, there you go. I'm just for the Woke up in London yesterday. Found myself in the city near Piccadilly Don't really know how I got here 
got some pictures on my phones New names and numbers that I don't know Address to places Gabby Road Day turns to night Night turns to whatever we want We're young enough to say Oh, this has gotta be a good life This has gotta be a good life This could really be a good life I say, oh, now this feeling that you can't fight the city's on the fire tonight This could really be a good life Good, good life To my friends in New York I say hello My friends in L.A. They don't know where I've been for the past few years Paris to China to Colorado Sometimes there's airplanes I can't jump out Sometimes the bullshit the dark boat now Got the stories, but please tell me What's there to complain about? When you're happy like a fool Let it take you over When everything is out You gotta take it in, oh This has gotta be a good life This has gotta be a good life this could really be a good life I say, oh, got this feeling that you can't fight Like the city's on fire tonight This could really be a good life Good, good life Hopelessly, I feel like the window closes oh so quick Hopelessly, I'm taking a mental picture of you now Cause hopelessly, the hope is we have something to feel good about There you go, my friend. He, as promised, John always said, we will bring back Good Times Acoustic. You heard him early on in the program. Yeah, We're going to be hearing stuff it. like this again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll do a couple more songs. Again, sorry, John, but the way I feel tonight, man. I, I must sound like hell. It's okay, man. But I appreciate that you guys are patient. Ken, thank you as well. Oh, I have Ken, to prescri- yeah. pres- prescribe me some medicine, buddy. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. When we come back, we'll take some calls. Let's take some calls. A couple more songs from uh, John Oid Danao as well. You can follow him on Twitter at John Oid Danao. It's Good Times with the Podcast, Season 2. Taking a few minute break. Don't go away. Back after this. Stay t- 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 We'll return after this commercial break. What you've been missing on the factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta for and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice it's and we can play already. Yes. Yep. Okay. There you go. And perfect <laughs> timing. <laughs> perfect timing. But before that, I was I was kicking ass. So go with the theme of the show, how not to play. It's Robert Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, six to seven PM, only here on the factory.
Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry! Okay, it's coming! Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? What you've been missing on the factory. Petchai. carpet ng petchai. She will start with the petchai. Oh, oh, if it's ganun. ano, kung mahaba yung hair, hindi ba masakit? Hindi, binutbutin ko muna ng konti. Tinitrim mo. Kailangan binutbutitan mo na. Tsaka pagka kasi yung mga p***, tsaka ano, ay petchai pala, petchai. Petchai. <laughs> tsaka mga p***, yun naman nakikita ko. Mga ano yan. Ang palaya ba? Ang palaya. Hindi, p***. Na lang. Ay, upo naman talaga eh. Upo na lang. Upo. Oh. Upo. Kalaki naman niya. Ano ba yan? O, oh, diba? Parang tiki ng kabayo. Parang tiki ng kabayo. Parang tiki ng kabayo. Parang tiki ng kabayo. Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here. On the factory. with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast on this Monday night, you are listening to Good Times with Mo, season two. My name is Mo, that's here's Dr. Ken. Hey. And of course, our guest tonight is Johnoy Danau. John you uh, probably know him from Good Times Acoustic <laughs> season one, which we were planning to bring back for a second season. Of course, Johnoy has to be there. And uh, we'll, I guess, touch base with you guys, the listeners, when we uh, decide to launch that. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, and, and, you know, every now and then we like to bring um, uh, musicians on the program, have shows like these where, yeah, we take calls, but it's not, it's not the big part of the program where we get to showcase these, these great voices just like John Noy. I know next week we have Bamboo coming here, full setup with strings and everything, like fucking orchestra. And while, yes, we're still going to take calls and stuff like that. It's nice to have like a music show every now and then, and um, until at least we get the Good Times Acoustic back. Let me ask you, John Noy, and yeah. again, sorry for the voice here, everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I'm breaking up here. Um, when you do your 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 sets, what, what which song gets the most, I guess, feedback, or you see the people kind of really respond to? Because um, I know you do a lot of songs, you do a lot of covers, you do yeah. originals. Which one really just kind of wow people? I remember when you were doing the season one, like when you would do like White Flag or Fix You, yeah. people go fucking crazy. W what is it these days? Um, these days, uh, still Coldplay, man. Still Coldplay. Coldplay songs get get that. I mean, they they, they really like that from my set. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yellow. Uh, um, the scientist. Um, uh, well, fix you, and uh, that's it. Yeah, and then some of the Dave Matthews songs, and uh, sure, yeah, yeah. You gotta learn um, Paradise, but that seems like a, a tough song because there's so many instruments going on in Paradise. But that's a good song. Up in Flames is another great Coldplay song from the new album that I really mm -hmm. enjoy. If you ever come around those, those are all really, really good stuff. Not well, Paradise is popular because it was a single, but mm -hmm. Up in Flames never released. But what a great fucking song that is as well. If you ever come across it. All right, let's get to uh, let's get to a song. Oh well, 
Well, let's get to a call here, and then we'll go to a song. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe Johnny's going to do a One Direction sh- song, which is really cool, because <laughs> even till now, <clears throat> even till now, when I let friends listen to your stuff, you know what song I let them listen to? Well, okay, there's five songs I kind of show you off with. It's Alone by Heart, which I loved, your version. Um, Karma Chameleon, which I loved, your version. Uh, and then Justin Bieber's uh, That Should Be Me. Be- I, fucking, I, I need to review that song though, but yeah, yeah, I, I think I did. It, I did well. Yeah. I, I show I that off all the time because it's Bieber, and you're better than Bieber. Um, Skyscraper by Demi Lovato. Oh, yeah, that, Your that, version that, that was song, better than hers. Uh, uh, skyscraper gets a lot of claps, also. Yeah. Oh, Skyscraper was awesome. Mm-hmm. I really loved that one. Um, and then you know, again, there's so many that I like to showcase, but I like showcasing those ones because they're kind of like bubblegum pop. But you do it in such a great way that it makes the original artist look shitty because your version is so much better, whether it be Bieber or something. Now, I don't know this One Direction song called Little Things, which we're going to do in a few minutes, yeah, yeah. but I do know One Direction. Um, yeah, man, they, pop, they're quite popular. Bubble gum. Yeah. yeah, they're super popular. So before we get to them, though, let's get to a, let's get to a caller here because yeah. this person's been on hold for a long time. Let's talk to Dana, who is 22 in Pampanga. Hi, Dana. Welcome to the show. What's going on? Dana. Dana. Are you there? Dana, 22? Yes, 22. What's up, Hi, Chanoi. Hi, wow, that's very clear. You're so awesome. You, I like your songs. Your voice is very clear. Yes. What are you Can you yeah. hear me all right? We yeah. hear you fine. Very fine. I wish okay. I had your voice. All yeah, right, what's up? I don't have, um, I, I actually don't have a personal question for myself, but I do have one question for... Mr. Dada or Chanoi? Yes. Yes. Um, What's up? So, for you, what is the difference between being alive and truly oh. living? Wow. I did <laughs> not expect that question. Right. I, I, I was hoping for an <laughs> SOP here and because you got that sex on phone voice, but this is very deep. <laughs> so, what's, what's the difference really? between being alive and, and truly living? Very, yeah, philosophical. Exactly. But we we can all answer that, but Johnny, go ahead first, man. Just just have love in your heart always. That's ah. just for me. That's the simplest way to live. Um, mm-hmm. Have someone, or just love your family, love your neighbors, love your kababayans. Just, just love. I, yeah, I, I think I, I think <laughs> a, I, I think a, a great um, like look at it is purpose. Like mm-hmm. people who have purpose. Everybody's yes. alive. I mean, not, well, if you're dead, you're not alive. But people who are alive, everyone's alive. They're breathing. Their heart's beating, whatever. But when you mm-hmm. say living, there, there's purpose. And, and purpose can be kind of anything from, say, what John Oy does, what I do, what Ken does. It could be traveling. It could be your family. Like when you kind of get your eyes locked in on a goal, all of a sudden you go from living to being alive. Yeah. Because you're gonna go see this goal, you're gonna see it through. Like, if you have whether you have, it's a bucket list, you know, sometimes the bucket list people always talk about, which is, I'm gonna die, which I sound like I'm dying. I'm gonna die, <laughs> and here are some of the things that I'm gonna do before I die. All of a sudden, yeah. even though your life is being Sounds taken right. from you, you're all of a sudden okay. living in that list. So it, it's purpose, it's a goal, it, it's things like that. When you start writing those goals down and stuff like that, and start achieving them, then you're starting to feel alive. Exactly. Very well said. And um, <laughs> you've mentioned earlier that you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. So, do you have any plans, or what are your plans for Valentine's? <laughs> oh, plans for the Valentine's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm not the Can kind of. Can you give uh, us, um, you know, any idea about it? Um, I, I don't plan things. Uh, I just. Well, you got that song. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah I, you got that I new song coming out. But, but I don't plan it like. I will write this song for you. It just came up. I mean, I was with her. And then, I don't plan things. Um, uh, lalo na pagdating sa ganyan, like uh, preparing for a for a romantic uh, date or something. Ito may tanong ako sa iyo, pare. Yeah. Yung girlfriend mo ba hindi ba parang hindi naman nasasawa kasi boyfriend ganyan, galing mo kumanta, diyan ka lang sa sala naririnig ganyan. Okay. Meron pa bang kagat yung mga bita mo pag ano? Um Palagay ko, sana meron naman. No? <laughs> Pero, Lagi um, kanyang naririnig eh. 
Parang lumagpas na kami dun sa si Johnny dun na ako kumakanta. Alam mo yung ganun na... No, but, but John, if I may <laughs> cut you off here, you and I were together doing a show weekly. So I see you in my house every Sunday yeah. and sometimes on weeknights as well. And though we lasted, you know, let's say, I don't know what it was, half a year or half eight year, months or ten months. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and, and while I saw you and I know your style and I know your voice and mm-hmm. I know your sound... Every week, it was being there was an attraction to you, non sexual, obviously, but yeah. there was an attraction <laughs> to you and a rekindled admiration for your abilities because every week you brought a different song. And, and yeah, maybe yes, while song. Yeah, yeah. yeah, while your voice is the same, whether it be Bieber or Skyscraper or whatever, or Dave Matthews, it's like it is tonight hearing you do Edge of Desire for the first time, hearing you do A Team. Even though I'm so familiar with your sound, it, it it just like it sparks again. Like wow, my my admiration for you is like always revisited because every song is different, even though the guy is the same. Thanks, man. I don't know. You get what I mean? So, to respond to that, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. But but I mean, like people like Dana here yeah. with the truly living and all that stuff. Again, it's the same person. It's the same home that you grew up in. It's the same family members. Maybe you get what I mean. Like mm-hmm. there's a yeah, steady yeah, I got, I got constant in your life, and you people can get bored with that because they see the same stuff. But you really don't realize that when you have different goals, Dana, and and different kind of things you're looking at or looking for to achieve all of a sudden the same house and the same family and the same room and all of that shit you, you look beyond that and things are really exciting so That's right. you change up like like johnny changes up the song you change up your goals you change up your mm-hmm. purpose all of a sudden you're not so bored or you don't feel so stale and you're yeah. alive you get what i mean baby yes hello yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, yes, listen, Dana. I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling you would totally sleep with Johnny tonight if he if he wasn't. Uh, <laughs> oh. you know, right. You can hear it in your maybe. Voice <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have a girlfriend. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye, Dana. Enjoy. Bye, Dana. Bye, bye. Fum, thank you. Have a fum, good night. Fanga. Hey, all right. Hey, you can tell. John, God, John, imagine oh, if I could sing like you. I would just, I would live my life just to bone strangers. <laughs> but you're a good guy. You're a good boyfriend. So let's do it. One Direction. Uh, and, and by the way, is this a single? I, I'm sorry, I'm not very familiar with One Direction's career or discography or whatever it may be. Is, is this a single or did you just come across this? I mean, how is John Noy looking up at One Direction stuff? I, I don't I don't think it's a single but it's a single. Um I came across this song because it was requested uh for a wedding maybe a week ago. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's, it's called it's Little a, Things yeah. which is code for uh what what girls say in the bedroom when they're with me. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't mind. They still squirt urine on me there so it's all buddy. You're John with the in mine like it's made just for me but bear this in mind it was meant to be and I'm joining up the dots with the freckles on your cheeks and it all makes sense to me I know you've never loved the crinkles by your eyes when you smile you never love your stomach or your thighs The dimples in your back At the bottom of your spine But I love them endlessly and I won't let these little things Slip out of my mouth But if I do It's you I'm in love with you And all these little things You can't go to bed without a cup of tea 
Maybe that's the reason that you talk in your sleep And all those conversations are the secrets that I keep Though it makes no sense to me I know you've never loved the sound of your voice on tape You never want to know how much you weigh You still have to squeeze in to your genes but you're perfect to me and I won't let these little things slip out of my mouth but if it's true it's you oh it's you they add up to All these little things You never love yourself Half as much as I love you You never treat yourself right Darling, but I want you to If I let you know Just let these little things slip out of my mouth Cause it's you, oh it's you, it's you They add up to, I'm in love with you And all these little things I won't let these little things slip out of my mouth But if I do, it's you Oh, it's you, they add up to I'm in love with you And all these little things Beautiful again, man. Johnny, you are fucking amazing. Beautiful. Nicely done. Uh, little things there by uh, One Direction. Hey, tomorrow on the program with Marcy Munoz. Wednesday, Ramon Bautista. Ramon on uh, Bautista, Thursday. Yes. Yeah, he's been on the show a couple times since season one. He's fucking great. Thursday, we have Asunta de Rossi. Next week, Isa Calzada. We have Bamboo. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good uh, for the lineup. And we're going to start giving away uh, phones again starting tomorrow. iPhone 5. We've got some wow. Blackberries. Really? Stuff like Ooh. Yeah, man. As as uh, as we have the been best. in the first month that we were back, so we'll definitely do that for you guys again tomorrow, um, if I'm here, obviously. Um, <laughs> all right, let's take a break. When we come back, how about uh, one more song? Now, usually this is where I'm supposed to chat it up with, with a lot of the callers, but because <clears throat> I don't I don't have much left in the reserve tank here, um, John, you don't mind singing us a, another song? I know we only had you kind of scared for like five or six, but. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when we come back, you know, or during commercial break, let's kind of dig deep into your uh, repertoire this. here, <laughs> okay. and and, f and maybe we can throw out a couple uh, of ones that, uh, you know, just to come up with the time. People, I'm sure people don't want to listen to me right, right now, especially <laughs> the way I sound like this. And we'll take some of your calls. Hopefully, we'll try to squeeze them in if uh, time permits. Four seven eight seven nine five four is the uh, phone number. Catch us on Skype with the Good Times Podcast. Taking a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay to, 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 to. We'll return after this commercial break. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> yeah, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> 
Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. Lock all doors of vehicles during inspection. Since lock? Oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking But doors. that's the thing. Okay. This is where they get you. And this is actually, I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs are planted. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah, and, they're, and they're other things, stores. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. Just there's Bieber really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I <laughs> throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD as well. You, have to, you know, then after that, you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know, you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch Lord. James Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30, only here on the factory. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry! Okay, it's coming! Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m. Lifestyle Network, where else? with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here on this Monday night. You're listening to Good Times with Mo. Phone number 478-7954. Sorry, I know we have a lot of sponsors coming up this month, um, particularly this week. And uh, I'm going to ask you guys, please support them and I'm going to go ahead and talk about one of them now with this I, I want Chevy to apo I apologize Chevy for sounding like this especially such a great product that you have but the Chevrolet Sonic is a, a dependable five seat or subcompact vehicle um, you got to check it out because it delivers it delivers sufficient power fuel efficiency fine ride handling remarkable entertainment system the Sonic is perfect uh, or Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute and weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. If you listen to our podcast while driving your Chevy Sonic, it's a perfect match. Comes with uh, two great looking body styles, five door hatchback and four door sedan. Of course, equipped with a new 1.4 liter EcoTech engine with double continuous variable cam phase. So that's CBC. The Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality during your driving um, experience. So make sure to check it out. It's available at Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet five-year warranty, three-year free roadside assistance and services on the Chevy 24-7 hotline. Thank you, Chevy. Chevy Sonic. Speaking of Sonic, man, my favorite basketball team, Supersonics, man. Are they back? John. Are they back? Are they back? Looks like they're coming back. Oh, my. Nice. Oh, I can't wait. Now, now I have to go back to hating the Lakers because they're in the same division. I, I'm kind of okay with the Lakers because I love Pau Gasol. But if Seattle comes back, then I'm sorry. They're my, they're my new favorite team because they've always been my favorite team. But which team? The, the Sacramento Kings? Are yeah, the Kings going back to Seattle. Hopefully they take the Sonics name. Now, if they don't take the Sonics name, I'm going to hate them and then not root for them. But as long as they're the Sonics, 
then I'm going to be a big fan. Do you think the Lakers can can still uh, catch up? <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, it, it would take a bunch of like variables to, for them to get into the playoffs. Number one, uh, mm-hmm. you know, with the, a weaker Memphis team, mm-hmm. so you're hoping that the Memphis Grizzlies will kind of, you know, struggle now that they don't have Rudy Gay, and then you have other teams that might make trades. To get, you know, for financial sake, like say Houston, Denver, mm-hmm. Portland, when those teams say, say they start gutting it because they know they have no chance in that Western Conference against the powerhouse, Thunder and, and whatnot, and you'll see those guys say trade off some pieces, some expiring contracts and whatever, that's when the Lakers can kind of gain ground on these lower seated teams because they're, they might pull the plug. Now, the best case scenario for the Lakers, I say, is if the Clippers come out number one in the West and the Lakers are able to sneak into number eight, all of a sudden there's no home court disadvantage. Yeah, They're going to yeah. be playing in Los that's Angeles true. True. against the Clippers I don't think for every the, single the, the game. The Clippers will be number one. I don't think so. That's right. And they have been struggling recently. Mm. So I see the Clippers struggle a little bit without Chris Paul. I see the Lakers kind of hovering around 500 these past few days. Not if we even. can just get like... Yeah, barely, right? Um, well, I mean, just recently, these past few days, are they kind of like up and down, maybe a little mm-hmm. over 500. But if we can see the Clippers go on an amazing run and lock down that number one seed and the Lakers come in at number eight, that would be great. Ooh. Or if the Lakers can even jump to number seven yeah. and the Clippers get to number two, that'd be fantastic. But the Lakers have no chance, zero, of beating Oklahoma if it's a one and eight matchup in OKC. How that, about, uh, that's, San that, that's the worst thing. Can San Antonio. I, oh, they can beat San Antonio. Yeah, okay. they can do that. San Antonio's beatable in the playoffs, man. <laughs> And you know Tim Duncan just went down with an injury. Is he going to be traded? Do you think? Um, I I was so sold on him being traded recently, like maybe you know a month ago, and now I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like, but what's good about Powell right now, though, with with Dwight Howard injured, is Powell's back to back games of twenty and ten. So his trade value is back up because yeah. all of a sudden he still is Pau Gasol. He still has the skill set. He can still put up the numbers. He's just not in the right system. So maybe what the Lakers can do now with Powell doing the 20 and 10 back to back games and say he does it again in the next game is like, wait a minute. See, Gasol's not on the decline. He's just not a fit for this system. I can now trade him to another team. And you're gonna get the Gasol that's twenty and ten, and we're gonna get whatever you you bring our way. So that I mean, I think it's a great way right now for the Lakers to showcase Pau Gasol's talents. But if if without Dwight Howard giving some sort of confirmation that he's gonna be with the Lakers after this season, it's really tough to to, to think what, what's gonna happen there. I say Gasol might stay just for that reason alone, because Dwight hasn't really yeah, I don't even Dwight hasn't really Gasol, said I, anything. If, if Howard stays or not, I don't, I don't know. Do you something, like Howard? Some, something about Dwight Howard, I don't like. Is it the smiling? No, I mean, because no. that's the big issue. Is it is it him smiling constantly while on the court, not taking things seriously, as some analysts like Robert Ory have said? One, yeah, number one, and then the performance, man. I mean, sometimes he's very dominant, but he has to be dominant like every night, man. He's so big, he, right? Just, but what, what grab, kind of dominant? Just, yeah, but just what, grab the ball and just. I don't know. Yeah, but what kind of I, dominant do you want from him? It's like, my, my thing is like, on the offensive end, he's not going to have the ball because Nash and Kobe have to share okay. that, right? So let's say he's the third option. I don't know. Option. He's not a threat. I think, I think that's the thing. If he gets the ball, somebody will foul him and then it's over. No, that's no, the problem. Yeah. yeah. And he's got to learn how to hit some free throws Come because on, th- th- that really 60, is the problem. But hey, no, he listens. He, 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 he leads the league in rebounding. He just needs to be responsible for the defense. Nash and Kobe has to be responsible for the offense. If everybody kind of gets their roles and, and know who's yeah. accountable, like Kobe should be the, the guy who leads this team. I'm Nash should lead that offense. Talk, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sorry about the basketball. I know this is not really good. Like, people are like, what the fuck happened to the songs, man? Put it back and share it. But, you know, he's a big Laker fan. What are you going to do? Um, yeah, and then also, I, I'm not equipped to, to talk right now because of my voice, but if it's basketball, fine. I'll, 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 but yeah, I mean, we can go on and on. We got to get a sports podcast up, and then maybe we'll guest you then. But I, I really do hope for the Lakers. I, I hope they do well. I mean, I would love to see them with this team go far in, in the playoffs. All right, anyway, let's get some music here. Yeah, enough of me. Enough, enough of the Laker talk. Um, what do you got for us here? You're, you're going to just throw some out, right? Yeah. I just dig up some songs from my set list and then... What's, 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 what, what do you got coming this up here? This one's uh, from Tom Petty. Um, the one who sang Free Fallen. Um, yep. This one's called uh, Wildflower. Got it. Do it.
sail away, kill off the hours. You belong somewhere, you feel free. Run away, go find a lover. Run away, let your heart be your guide. I have seen no other who compares with you. You belong among the wildflowers, and you belong in a boat out at sea. Sail away, kill off the hours. You belong somewhere, you feel free. your heart be your guide I have seen no other who compares with you you belong among the wildflowers you belong in the boat out at sea sail away There you go. John Oidenau. You can follow him on Twitter at John Oidenau doing John Oidenau. Wildflower. Nice, nice song. Just really well done as well. <laughs> um, let's do one more song, but before that, we got a couple calls here yeah. that we got to get through and knock them out because they've been on hold. And then we'll do one song and then we'll okay. wrap up tonight's episode. Let's start with MC. MC. She is, or he is, oh, I don't know who this is, female. Marikina, 26, on line one. What's going on, MC? Welcome to the show. John Oidenau here. Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. What's up? Um, I have a question actually it's her like a revenge advice a revenge you want to get um, some revenge Ooh. yeah um i have i've been with uh i have a relationship for six years and i just um the guy ended it like three months ago um the problem is we have a baby like a three-year-old son oh. and then um before that he cheated on me um, during the, um, the duration of our relationship during our third year, and then he admitted to me, and I forgave him, and then, so we had a baby and all, and then when he broke up with me, like, three months ago, um, for some reason, a week after, um, he, he lived with a girl, some sort, um, yeah. in his house, and then, um, and then before that, sorry, before that, um, he also had, um, may utang sa, so, so there, so, around 250,000, um, because, nga, my parents loan it to him, para nga, um, all right, so I'm bored, all right, so w- what's going on here, what do you need, like, um, you want to get back to this my dude? advice, like, what do I, because until now he's still, he can still contact me, and, and I don't want to have a contact with him at all. What, when he contacts wife, you, when he contacts you, what does he want? Um, he wants to talk, I guess. 
uh, he just wants to spend time with me, and then he talks about um, his life, and then he, girlfriend, yeah, you know, he talks to me about his friend, girlfriend. Does he want to still have sex with you? Because that's what a lot of guys do with their ex-girlfriend. <laughs> they try to contact them so they can bone again. I know, but um, the, the, the last time that we met, we haven't done anything. All right, but he, but does he try? He tries to contact me, and he makes an excuse that, I know, it's about our boy. It's, he wants to know our boy, but he doesn't want to know our boy. He's just he's on contact with me, and then um, <coughs> telling stories about his girlfriend and what's going on with him and all of that. And yeah, that that's a talk. move. That's a move for him to fuck you, uh, MC. That's what guys do. Guys would be like, you know what? My ne- my new girlfriend, she- she's just not like you. You know, I mean, we have a lot of problems, and I really miss the time we were together. Can I put my dick in your mouth? That's basically what they're trying to say. Because he's like he's happy with this girl. Like he's not like he's happy. You know. All right. Okay, again, kind of. Kind of like what I told the girl with the call, with the guy, the girl that was fucking her hus- uh, her her boss. Mm-hmm. Try to accumulate, try to plant it where you're like, okay, he wants to talk to you. Then text him and say, I miss you. I mean, I know that you have a new girlfriend now and all of that shit, but Sanaman, you know, we can relive some of our moments again. Hindi naman kailangan malaman ng girlfriend mo. Tapos, tignan natin yung sagot niya. Kung sabihin niya, sige, huwag kong sabihin sa kanya, no? Then putang yung nasabihin mo na sa girlfriend. Oh, tignan mo yung mga messages niya. Ang gago niya, ha? So, it's a way to sabotage kind of their current relationship by you setting them up. I mean, I, that, that, that's a great revenge thing for me, I think. is like, because most guys, the guy wants to sleep with you, obviously. Guys do that. They want to sleep with their exes. It, it's, it's great, because they know that you're willing to have sex with them. So, you know, try to get it where it's some sort of damning conversation between you and him, and then you can show the girlfriend and kind of fuck him over like that. That's probably the best thing I can do for you right at this point in terms of uh, some sort of some kind of revenge. Because guys will fall for that, especially if you're like if you text him and you're like, if you don't mind, you know, para naman. And then, tignan, tignan mo, he, he's going to text you and go, Sige, pucha. Ano, 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 oh, yung dog style na gusto mo, diba? You know, and then he'll start jumping along on it. And all of a sudden, boom, tell the girlfriend. <laughs> ako naman, iniisip, That's what I would do. Ako, iniisip That's what I would ko do. Naman, ano, eh, legally, hindi naman kayo kasal, diba? Well, so wala siyang masyado. But he still has a relationship with you because you're, you have a son. Pero yeah. regardless, ayaw niya yun eh. Ang hindi naman ako lawyer pero naisip ko lang pwede mang gawing leverage. May utang siya sa iyo, eh. 'di ba? Pera 'yun, 'di ba? Yeah. So, and then then say, "Listen, if you don't pay me back, I'm going to tell your girlfriend that you want to fuck me." <laughs> and I have the proof here. <laughs> How much money does he owe you? 250 daw mo, eh. Yeah, 250 gur, 250k? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell him to send you over some nude photos as well, not just the text messages. Maybe a, a ball shot or a dick shot that you can send over and then, you know, kind of hold that against him. Because, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you want more. You want to get revenge or you want to get your money back, whatever it may no, be. But I, he's still... I want to get revenge. I know that I'm not going to get the money back because he doesn't have, you know, stable jobs. Well, you know, Sorry. listen, revenge, is, revenge advice is tough because it's wrong, but I understand mm-hmm. your need for it, and I'm, I'm a big revenge guy myself, so I'll go ahead and just say this. If he's reaching out and trying to contact you, that's a great thing in terms of revenge. Get him to send some really suggestive, provocative messages. You keep that, boom, send it to the girlfriend. All right. And he'll do it. Promise you. Promise you he will do it. Okay. Just go back, get sexual on those on those messages. He'll 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 reciprocate. I promise. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks for the call. Bye bye, babe. Bye. Bye. And then I, I'm always like I'm always keen on like like I, every time like there's a girl, for example, that sends me a tweet and says, "Hey, you're so sexy. Look at you," you know, or or something like that. I always know not to send a message back, knowing like, "Oh fuck, they're gonna use this against me one day." But if it's an ex girlfriend and you're trying to contact her and she sends you sexual messages back, you're almost automatic that you're gonna respond to it. <laughs> that's why <laughs> strangers, yeah, fuck, don't yeah, that's yeah. dangerous. Ex girlfriend, yeah. Oh, so you miss my dick? <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Look at me. You know, you start saying shit like that. 
All right. Anyway, John Noy, yeah. one more song, and then we'll take a break and wrap it up. What do you yeah. got for us? I have a... Uh, I sing this at doing gigs. Um, this is a love song, a very great song. Um, I don't know if uh, Peter Gabriel wrote the song, but he has a version of this song. Great version. Peter Gabriel. What songs did Peter Gabriel do again? Um, in Your Eyes. He, does he, is he the one who did the Karate Kid? I'm not sure. No, no. that's Peter Cetera. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. That's right. <laughs> sorry. You're right. Okay. Well, well whatever. Book of Love. Let's do it. The book of love is long and boring. No one can live the damn thing. It's full of charts and facts and figures and instructions for dancing. But I, I love it when you read to me and you. music in it In fact that's where music comes from Some of it's just transcendental Some of it's just really dumb But I I, I love it when you sing to me And you long and boring and written very long ago it's full of flowers and heart-shaped boxes and things we're all too young to know but I I I love it when you give me things and you to give me wedding ring You ought to give me wedding ring But I I love it when you sing to me And you I like that song, and it, I wow, that 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 is That's a great song, man. Look man, it up. look it up again. That's the first time I heard that. That is that is superb. It's very romantic. Very romantic. Yes, and yeah. It's written like ah, love song. Galing, galing. I don't back. That was awesome. Galing, that was great. Galing, what are you? Thank you, man. Hello, Ben. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up tonight's show with uh, John Oita now here. It's good times with the podcast on this Monday night. <clears throat> Gee, sorry about this. Um, yeah, all right. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. What you've been missing on the factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta for and PlayStation Plus. 
PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect <laughs> timing. <laughs> perfect timing. But before that, I was, I was kicking ass. So go with the theme of the show, How Not to Play. It's Robot Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m. Only here on The Factory. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry! Okay, it's coming! Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m. Lifestyle Network, where else? What you've been missing on the factory. Ben Chai. Ate Chai, Vera. Umahaba ang carpet ng Pet Chai. She will start with the Pet Chai. Oh, oh, if ganun. it's ano, kung mahaba yung hair, di ba masakit? Hindi, biniputin ko muna ang konti. Tinitrim Kailangan trim mo na ang pitan oh. muna. Tsaka pagka kasi yung mga p***, tsaka ano, ay Pet Chai pala, Pet Chai. Pet Chai. <laughs> tsaka mga p***, yun ang mga nakikita ko. Mga ano yan. Ang palaya ba? Ang palaya. Hindi, p***, na lang. Ay, p***, naman talaga eh. Upo na lang. Upo. 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 Kalaki naman niya. Ay, ano ba yan? O, diba? Parang t***y ng kabayo. Parang t***y ng kabayo. Lintin t***y ng kabayo! Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Want to thank Janoy Dinao for being on the program tonight. Janoy, great job thank as always, and we look forward you. to seeing you back on the show with Good Times Acoustic Season 2. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Definitely. Um, again, I want to apologize for the way I sound tonight For the people who just tuned in or just downloaded it I'm not feeling well still And I'm trying to get better But hopefully tomorrow we'll have a show RC Munoz should be here Again, we're going to be bringing back our prizes Like iPhone 5s We have some Blackberries now that we want to give away We also have gift packs Sponsors that we want to thank Like Glutamax That's uh, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International It's available in capsules, soap, lotion, deodorant, face cream be uh, Kutis Mayaman with Glutamax available with uh, in the leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Check out Glutamax, man. It really does a great job if you're uh, looking to lighten up a little bit. Um, uh, Johnoy, you can follow him on Twitter. Johnoy Danao. Johnoy Danao, yes. And, uh, and uh, your cell phone number again if you want to, people want to book you or whatever it may be. Um, 0908821 all right, buddy. Really nice to have you. Nice to hear your speaking voice, not just your singing, singing voice, because <laughs> we are good friends. Um, so uh, thanks, thanks for, for being here me, on the program. I hope to see you in person soon. Yeah. yeah when, I, when are you coming? All right. 
Um, I, I'd say probably when it's summertime here, maybe like June, July, I'll I'll right. hang out there a little bit, right, but because right, right. um, I hate the heat here. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll swing by there. Um, probably mid year and stuff like that. A lot of business stuff to to take care of. So that would be cool. Doctor Ken, we'll see you tomorrow. RC Munoz on the show. Yeah. Wednesday, Ramon Bautista. Thursday, uh, Asunta de Rossi. And uh, Johnny, thanks again, man. Thank you very much. Thanks to all, right. all those who are, who are listening. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Thanks for the downloads and all the people that are listening. Uh, have a great night. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.